Hey everyone, Tracklin here today on my Destruction Warlock, testing out a few new macros, see if they still work for the latest update. I have a link down below if you want to copy and paste the macros, or if you have the Impulse add-on, you can come up here, click Impulse, and yeah, just choose your modifier and they go straight to your hotbar, or go to the Actions tab and sift through all their macros and they go straight to your macro tab. I also have a link down below to all my other add-ons, uh, of course all the macros, everyone always asks, so... Uh, about my add-ons and everything. So yeah, everything's down below in the description guys. So the first macro I tested today was a mouse over for my shadow burn, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket target equals mouse over harm exists no dead shadow burn. You can just switch out the spells here and here. Leave that semicolon and yeah, you can put whatever in there. Emulate, um, shadow bolt, whatever. And yeah, I like to put shadow burn in there. So how this works is if you just have a single target and use it, it will always go off on your single target. As long as you don't have someone to mouse over. But let's say you want to keep your current target and you know this guy's about to die and you want to use Shadow Burn on him. You just simply mouse over them and use it just like that. And of course you don't need a single target. You can just mouse over people and yeah, use the spell on them. So yeah, that's how that works. And like I said before, you can just switch out the spell here and here uh, and use whatever you want. Next up is a Havoc Focus Macro, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket target equals focus, exists no dead Havoc. And yeah, just switch out here and here, leave that semicolon. And you can put fear in there or something else like that. So how this type of macro works is, let's say you have a single target with no focus target at all. It'll always go off on your single target like this. And of course we don't want that for Havoc, so let's say you have a single target and this dummy over here is on my focus and this UI and uh, my focus is right here as you can see me switching it that's my focus right there so let's say this dummy's on my focus well now that I do have a focus it always go off on my focus rather than my single target like this so I switch you know go off whoever's my focus rather than my single target so you can just uh, use your spells switch your targets Put your Havoc on them. So yeah, it's a really nice macro. And like I said, you just switch out the spells like uh, you could the last one. And if you want to get your um, focus on and off people quicker, I have a macro, this one right here. And I'll make sure to put that in the on the web page as well. And how this works is, um, it's a lot like that mouse over macro I showed before, where you can just click it once, it'll put someone on, click it a second time, it'll take them off. So double click. Uh, it's hard to tell with these training dummies. Where'd that lady go? I don't know where she went. But if you can't tell, I'm switching right now. You just click it twice and it'll take them on and off. So, yeah, it's a really nice uh, macro. It's hard to explain, but, yeah, you just test it out and see if you like it. Next macro I tested was a unending resolve stop casting macro, which looks like this. Slash stop casting, slash cast unending resolve. And sometimes you might have to put several stop casting uh, macro, uh, lines in there depending on the update but right now it's working good for just one so the reason why these are so nice is because a lot of times when people are casting something like let's say they're casting incinerate they'll either jump or they'll start moving or something like that to get off to stop their current cast to get off an ending resolve or another spell similar to that and that's actually not very efficient because you lose a lot of time with the animations and all that. So what you can do is just put stop casting in front of it and it'll automatically stop the casting of your current spell and use the spell you want to use. So first I'll show you what it looks like with a regular unending resolve. I'm going to click it just to see, just to show you I'm using it. So I'm clicking it, it's not going to work. And now it goes off after uh, the spell actually is done. And the only way I could have used it is to jump or hit escape or something like that to stop it. Uh, so now I'll show you what it looks like uh, with the macro. So now I'm going to show you with the macro. Uh, I'm going to cast my incinerate and it's going to automatically stop the incinerate and use an unending resolve uh, with one click. Just like this. Yeah, no, you don't lose animation time or anything like that. And yeah, I would just test it out. Stop casting in front of sign your spells and see how it works for you. And the last macro I tested today was a modifier macro for my incinerate and my chaos bolt, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket modifier alt, chaos bolt, semicolon incinerate. 
And if you never used a modifier macro before, you can switch out the alt right here for something like shift or control if that's easier for you. And what you put before the semicolon is what you're modifying. So here's the macro as you can see right here on my keybind. If I just hit incinerate or the keybind right now, it'll do incinerate just like that. But if I hold down alt and hit the same keybind, it's going to switch to my chaos vault. And you only need to hold down alt. Uh, when you initially click it, you only need to hold it down for the entirety of the spell. So yeah, these modifiers are good for a couple reasons. First, you can save on interface space. Like if I went to go set up all my spells right now, I wouldn't have to, you know, uh, use as much uh, key binding space for them, and it'll save a lot uh, room so you can see this beautiful world. And more importantly, say you're really good with like the A key and keys around the A. Well, you can just set up modifier macros for those. Instead of, you know, trying to get good with keys you're not already good at, like on the right side or the bottom side of your keyboard. So yeah, you become a little more efficient with all your keys by using the modifier macros. So that's the last macro today on the Destruction Warlock, guys. If you want to see more Destro Warlock macros, just drop a like on the video, and I'll know you enjoyed it, and I'll make more for you guys. Have a good one.